Good morning, good evening. It is Tuesday, February 21st. My name is Eric. Welcome to my channel. This is just a little video that I do each day showing you guys what I sell and uh, giving you guys tips and tricks on what to do to make more money scrapping and doing eBay reselling. So I'll show you guys first off what I sold today. Uh, I sold these things last night rather. Um, these are not this big motor here. I got this from a furnace last night. It's uh, I tested it. It was working really well, so I'm pretty excited to list that that guy there. Um, but I got these two things sold. These two things sold. They are uh, furnace furnace control ignition board. This guy is uh, from I think it's a uh, carrier Bryant furnace. This one sold for seventy dollars Canadian. It's going to Saskatchewan, and. Uh, they paid for express post shipping. So you know what that means is that their furnace is not working. So they are getting it. They want it fast. <laughs> um, so unfortunately, they're probably sitting there shivering while I'm making this video. But I'm going to get it shipped out to them right away. They'll, they'll get this tomorrow. It's, it's Express post shipping is in Canada is really fast, uh, even though it's going over there to, to Saskatchewan. Uh, so it, it's a it's pressure though you know if uh, it, when people are buying these parts from you and you know it's it's the middle of February and their furnace isn't working obviously I mean I'm just making that assumption um, and it's pressure like they bought this part from you and now you got to get it to them really fast so I just in th in those cases you just want to do like next day shipping. Uh, second thing that I sold was this uh, range element. It's going to Pennsylvania. It is Frigidaire. Um, sold this for forty dollars. And uh, yeah, I find whenever I get these, they don't stick around for very long. They just sell. Um, kind of, I'm still perplexed a bit on why they sell because I used to work at a hardware store and we just had like racks and racks of these things, and they were all like twenty dollars. I just remember, you know, on the sorting them out on the shelves and stuff. Uh, I just always thought they were a very common thing, but apparently, um, not so much. So, uh, yeah, it once uh, once that goes on your range, you know, you have to have it for it to work. So forty bucks. That was a quick, easy sale. Um, I had a couple other sales last night, but they people didn't pay. Um, I had about three of them that bought stuff and they didn't pay. Um, there was one in particular that I'm really kind of like, oh, please, just, it's like catching a big, huge bass and then all of a sudden it's just breaking off your line right at the last minute, you know? So they'll, they might pay, you know, it's just that they bought this thing here. Uh, they gave me a best offer of $150, $150. This is from a Speed Queen dryer, and this is a bit different because it's uh, a coin-operated dryer. I got a couple of these from a uh, housing complex um, that uh, I pick up from time and time again. I didn't have to test it because uh, they just said they worked fine. They are just upgrading their equipment. So that was, and I had two of them. Uh, this is from a while ago. The one, or the one sold. For yeah, for like a hundred and fifty dollars, and then I have the, and then I still have that one there. So, but uh, yeah, so they they're in Puerto Rico, and they sent me a message saying that they had trouble with the checking out. So I sent them an invoice, but it's been over twenty four hours now. Maybe they'll still pay. I hope so. Yeah, so I'm gonna package up those guys today. Um, the yesterday I thought it was. Yesterday was like a provincial holiday called Family Day here in Ontario, and I thought that the post offices were closed. But I saw that the post office truck came by, and I'm like, oh, crap. And I had, uh, so that means the post office was open, and I had 14 or 15 things to package and ship. So I just started packaging and shipping them, and I got them to the post office on time before uh, before they closed before and before the truck came by to pick up the packages so that's what I spent yesterday it was just a big uh, hoopla um, 
what else am I doing today? Well, I just wanted to show you this one thing here. Uh, in one of my previous videos, I was going on about uh, this brass lot that's um, up on the uh, Canadian government surplus website. So if, if you guys may have remembered, it, it, it did sell and it sold for uh, $52,000 Canadian. Just to give you guys, I have a lot of American uh, viewers, just to give you a comparison. 52,000 Canadian is 40,000 American. Um, so yeah, that's approximately 10,000 kilograms, which is 22,000 pounds. Uh, yeah, tw 22,000 pounds. So I did like a rough calculation. And for me, for 22,000 pounds, if I were to sell 22,000 pounds of brass to a scrapyard, I would get 30 thick... $36,000 and they bought it for uh, $52,000 to me was that I'm just thinking that's like a direct buyer I, I think that's like someone who directly bought it from India or China and you know they're just working for an actual melting company yeah that's uh, quite a bit of brass from the I guess that's from the Canadian military. Um, but yeah, I just, I kind of watch this stuff because I find it, it's neat. Uh, there's actually one thing that I did bid on this website. I bid, well, actually two things. Yeah, I bid on this, this lot here. I bid $450 for some wire. <laughs> we'll see if I get this. But uh, probably not, you know. I just, I like to, bid every once in a while because you just never know if if everyone's asleep that day so three tri walls of wire which is approximately uh, 1405 pounds of wire that includes the skids uh, so I kind of subtracted the skid weight and the and the tri wall weight of the pallets um, of the wire so yeah you know if I can get this for 450 and then you have to pay tax oh yeah that was another thing so yeah the guy that bought the brass so oh, i closed the, yeah so that's for they have to pay tax on that as well so let's see here Fifty-two thousand times 1.13 yeah so that's just another eight thousand dollars oh, for the tax you gotta pay tax on that stuff that's crazy um so yeah, if I can buy that for you know under five hundred dollars and then maybe make seven hundred dollars, you know all that trouble to me, that all that trouble would be worth it to make uh, a couple hundred bucks. We'll see. You know, you might make more than I kind of guessed that I would make about seven hundred dollars for the scrap. But anyways, I really doubt I'm going to get this. The other thing I bid on was just uh, this lot of computer stuff, assorted lab equipment. It's kind of some higher end stuff. Maybe I'll get it. I was kind of interested. Maybe I'll uh, see if any of that stuff works. Because I, you can check up some of these models on eBay, and see this is all the stuff you get. You get like a sulfur oxide, sulfur dioxide analysis machine. So it's pretty unique stuff. And you just quickly look up some of these model numbers on eBay, and they sell for like a couple thousand dollars each. Uh, all right. Anyways, so what else did I want to talk? Oh yeah, I just got a return here. This is a return from, and I knew, I knew, 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 knew that they were going to return this. I said to my wife, I'm like, they're going to return it. Why are they even bothering buying it from me? Because in the message, he said, oh, if it doesn't work, can I return it? Like, yeah, you can return it. You know, at that point, I just, I didn't want to sell it to him. So sure enough, he sent me a message saying, oh, it, it turns out we no longer need it. Um. So I'm like, yeah, okay, return it. But he didn't open up uh, an eBay case or any, a return case, so I'm just going to give him a, a quick refund. See, I knew he was going to do it, so I actually put uh, like little security stickers on it because I was worried that he would swap out his old part. So I put these little stickers on there, and it. I looked it over real quick, and it definitely looks like the same part that I sent him. This is from a refrigerator. Uh, KitchenAid side-by-side uh, -side refrigerator. Now, I'm not going to relist this. Not because I'm worried it's damaged, but because I'm tired of everybody. You know, when you 
when you sell parts, you'll get people that don't really know what's wrong with their appliance. So they just start, when they don't know what's wrong with it, they just say, well, it's got to be the, this circuit board. So I'll replace that. And so I've, I've gotten quite a few people. They don't, the people that buy this don't really know what it does. Uh, so I'm just kind of tired of it. I'm not going to sell it again, even though I sold it for like $80. But yeah. Anyways, so that's that. Um, so I'm just going to be packaging, shipping, and hopefully find out some more things to do today. Uh, yeah, I just have, this is kind of the stuff I'm going through right now. Uh, for a uh, listing on eBay, this is just a bunch of science fiction type novels. Uh, some really old ones too. They're kind of interesting. Whole big, whole big stack of them. Um, this is a stuff like I have a bunch of books over here that I've been collecting. Oh, sorry, you can't see. It's really dark. Yeah, it's just I'm going through this bookshelf right now. I'm not really into selling books unless it's uh, really high value. But uh, if I can sell this, you know, like the ones that are the same, like uh, these analog books, for example, sell that as a lot and make a couple bucks. All right, I'm all packaged up. I got those two things packaged. I, I just brought them outside to my car, and then I had another sale. This guy here is a, is a hand dryer. Um, sold this for $100. Here's a picture of it there. I'm not gonna, it's new in box. Uh, I'm not going to take it out of the box uh, to show you, but yeah, I got this from my uncle, and he is uh, he has a, a shop of a whole bunch of different stuff, and I went to his place and helped him clean it out a little bit. And he gave me this. Um, it's not something you guys will probably come across easily, like the other stuff that I show you, like uh, washer dryer parts or anything. It's hard to find comparables, so I just put it at a hundred dollars and just yeah, just let it sit, let it ride. I think this has been up for uh, at least five months, I'd say. So not that long, but. Uh, yeah, so that's a nice little way to make up, uh, start off my day. It's uh, still it's uh, 11 a.m. right now, and apparently my fa I'm getting dragged out by my family. They're gonna take me out somewhere. Oh, okay, for our little family excursion today, we're going to our thrift store. Uh, it's a little local place that we like to go to. It's just a country thrift shop. It's like a church uh, charity. Has a food bank. It's really a nice place. We go there all the time and find really, really good deals. So I'll try and get some footage of that place. And uh, we got a lot to donate today. Um, this is some of the stuff I've gone through. There's like a whole bunch of old toys that I had uh, been collecting. I finally went through them all. Uh, some books, kids' clothes. You know, the usual type uh, type of stuff that you find at thrift stores. Um these are my packages. This is the range element uh, that I packaged up today. Uh, so that's how I package those. Is I just use a box and I don't. Uh, uh, I just use keep it flat and I just tape it all up. I tape all the sides, you know. Um, I, it's it's light and uh, but it's it's made of metal, but it's not quite you know rigid enough to to put into like a poly mailer or something. I still feel like it's. If you don't put it in, in the cardboard, it will get bent or something. So that's how I've always done them. I haven't had a problem yet. Yeah. Okay. So that's great. We're going to go to the go to the post office as well. Uh, this is what I was doing yesterday. I took apart this furnace here. I got a nice couple pieces from that, and uh, that's what I was doing yesterday. Um, my wife. Uh, she went to the grocery store and right behind the grocery store is our recycling bin that we get people to drop stuff off there and so she she swung past it and this is what was in the bin yesterday this heater uh, but you can see they cut the cord uh, what you'll find is that when people do that they do that on purpose because there's something you know it might it might uh, cause they feel like it's a, a fire hazard so they cut the cord purposely so that no one else will use their item so that's what I figured would happen there uh, so any other stuff I got uh, this big AC adapter is heavy 
I'm not too sure where it's from. It's kind of a unique one. You know, it's... I'm going to take a closer look at it and, uh, you know, um, try and find out the, the model numbers. They put, someone put, like, electrical tape all over it. That's kind of interesting. But then, after that, it's just a big uh, spaghetti mess of wire, which is all, which is fine. It's all just number two insulated bag of, two bags, Christmas lights. Uh, this thing, which is, I think it's... Uh, that's just steel. And got a vacuum cleaner. Um, this is a Dirt Devil vacuum cleaner. It is, uh, I think it's battery operated. Uh, we'll take a closer look at that. It's probably, it's just very plasticky. There's really not much going on in these things. But sometimes, um, if you take it all apart, sometimes you, you'll be able to find like a, a lithium ion battery inside of these. Or in, I've even found a lithium ion or, or lead acid batteries inside. Last guy I got here, I just took this apart, another computer tower. This is a, it's a, it's a Windows Vista, but it's got like a, a cool looking graphics card on it. And you see the, the heat sink, it's, that, it's a nicer heat sink. So it's an older computer, but you know, it strikes me as being a, a higher end computer for back in its day. So they took all the RAM out and they also took the hard drive. So there's no hard drive. But uh, you know, thanks to a couple of my YouTubers, they gave me a couple of ideas on how to test this stuff out without having a uh, a hard drive, so I'm gonna I'm gonna test it out, try to see if uh, it will boot up. Okay, I'm sure it will. You know, it's just that sometimes the only times I've seen is uh, with these motherboards is that you look at the capacitors and you'll see like all the capacitors' heads are just blown up. You know, that just tells you there's something very wrong with the motherboard. Um, to be honest, though, after that, I rarely find anything wrong with these motherboards. Uh, usually it's just like a software problem, but you got to test it out, test it out regardless. If you want to resell it, of course, and you know, there's, it's obvious some scrap value going on in there. It's cool. So that's always nice. Nice little bonus. All right. So we're going to load up the family and head on out to our thrift store. Haley's going to stay here, guard the place. What I do is I just, uh, she she's really good she always stays on the property but what i do is uh, i just leave my truck door open and she likes to hop in there and stay in there the odd time there will be like a, a she'll hear a gunshot or some fireworks and she gets really nervous by that but she usually just stays on the property no problem Wine cooler.
Let's see. Side tank. Hardware. 15. Yeah, probably. Balderdash. One dollar. Person Balderdash. Sorry? A Balderdash game. One buck. And 50% off. It's 50, 50 cents. Okay. Grab that. Grab. Pizza party. Pizza hut. I don't know. There. They're sealed, I'll get them. something there go get it honey all right we spent a total of twenty dollars at this uh, thrift store got a few things uh, there's some little toy for the kids and my kids got a, a few other toys they had everything was uh, 50 percent off today so like for example this thing here I got uh, hair clipper it's been tested okay got for five bucks Nice and heavy. It's a good name. Um, what else? 
my wife got this uh, cooler. This was 50 cents. She wanted that for some stuff. And I got some light bulbs. It's always nice to have. These were uh, 25 cents each. This one was 50 cents. 50 cents. Uh, we got a Balder Dash game. You saw one of my previous videos. I sold this same one for I think it was like close to forty dollars. I sold this game, so I got another one. It's in as it as in good condition, but I'll, I'll take a look at it. I mean, it, it was fifty cents for this game, so it's worth just checking out. And I got some microwave plates. They're all the same size. Those were a dollar fifty each. So all in all, was okay. Didn't really get to anything too exciting today, but it was. Nice to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. And I just showed you that we swung by the bin on the way home. The drop-off recycling bin. I just got that. Little Magnavox VCR. It's a weird shaped one. I don't remember. I don't remember them looking like this before. That's it. Yeah, you know, it's a cheapy. You know, maybe it still works. It still works, so it's worth uh, trying to list. Um, yeah, because sometimes people just get rid of this sort of stuff for, you know, because they don't want it or they don't need it. And it's like, I don't, they figure I don't uh, watch VHS anymore, so they just throw it out. Uh, yes, there's not even any sort of display on this guy. Really cheapy one. Well, it is 10 o'clock. I'm going to wrap up my video tonight. Um, I sold one more thing other than my uh, hand dryer. So I sold this guy. This is an LD player. LD. Laser disc. It's an oldie, uh, obsolete format of um, obsolete media format, but uh, you know you get them and they sell. Um, there are certain ones that can go a lot higher, and this one here sold for a hundred and thirty dollars. I took a best offer. I believe I was trying to sell it around uh, the one eighty mark. I, I don't have I don't have the paper in front of me. I I believe I was trying to sell it for 180. It has the remote to go with it. It's fully tested and works nice. Um, I've had other uh, offers in the past, and I've had a couple that were pretty good. I think I remember getting one that was like a hundred dollars, and I countered, and he never he never bit back. But um, yeah, no one has ever wanted to go as high as this guy did. So this guy went at 130. It's pretty happy with that, so I just took it and uh, he also paid the shipping for it as well. It's just local to my area. It's just going to Quebec, and uh, very happy about that sale. Um, I always keep a lot of different uh, types of media up here. So, for example, here is the laser disc that I that I keep. I don't know if I'll be able to get down without making a mess. Ah! Nope. Making a mess, of course. Not a big deal. Stuff breaks. Yeah, so for all of you that don't know, like this is a laser disc. And it's just basically like a big CD. Alright. So I keep this stuff around just to test things with. Um, I recently bought a big pile of these at a garage sale. A lot of different labels, like there were uh, Jurassic Park and Terminator 2, and a whole bunch of different movies. I just sold it in a lot. And uh, yeah, they're not as good as as uh, you may think. Like some of them are collectible, but um, yeah, they don't go for too much. But anyways, this like I keep a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, discs up here, you know. So I got... Uh, VCRs, DVDs, cassette tapes, you can't really see up here, but you know, cassette tapes also have some video games, you know, that I keep in case I ever get, you know, if in case I ever get a, a, a Sega Genesis, I'll have a game to test it out with. I also have eight, eight tracks, and I think there's a, uh, let's see here, yeah, there's, there's an old beta, you know, so... I like to keep that sort of stuff handy up there and uh, you know I'm always adding to it always getting new stuff uh, and because I come across all sorts of interesting uh, things that I'd like to test see if it works uh, so that was it for for what I sold it's 10 o'clock I don't I think my day's over 
might get a couple more. We'll see, but you know, may not. But that, anyways, that was a good day. Like 130 and then 100, you know, 230 bucks today. That was good. Um, I got through all those books, so I made all my listings. And you can see it's a lot brighter here now. I installed those bulbs that I got from the thrift shop. They're pretty bright. Um, yeah, so I, I just made some lots. I'm just going to sell them uh, in, a, in a bunch of lots. So the one, these ones are pretty common, you know, these analog and the other one there. It's kind of like the, t the old TV guides, you know, you just sign up for it and it just comes to your house. Uh, but this one, though, this one is kind of interesting. See, they're all the same. They're called, it's called Fantastic Universe. And these, these are all 1950s. You know, I don't know if, see, it says 1953, 1955. So it's just these old, uh, really old sci-fi sci type magazines from the 50s. I, I, so I put this lot at $80, and I'm pretty confident it's going to sell for that. Um, they're in okay, okay condition, you know. But then I got some other ones that are just, these are ones are pretty old too, but it's just uh, various titles. Yeah. That was kind of fun. This bookshelf, I've been, it's been sitting full for such a long time that I've been mean to go through it. Like all this stuff up here has already been listed. That stuff I'm just going to keep for now for my, my for myself. And then I just have those shelves to go through still. So I'm going to go through each book and, and see if it's worth selling. But I've been finding like the newer stuff, you know, for example, like this Star Wars book, for example, it's, very little value. Maybe some of the um, the textbooks, you know, they might be better, have a better sell, sale, but I think they're older, these ones in particular. But uh, uh, then, of course, you have uh, the older stuff, the older vintage stuff. So I'm going to be going through that stuff. This is, I've, I've gotten these books through a variety of things, uh, auctions and other garage sales and stuff and so I just kind of been collecting them here for now um, I got some pretty neat titles in here uh, like you know this is in here see check that out Gone with the Wind I think this is like a it's not the first edition but it's I think it's like the second or third edition so you know you go through that and you just uh, put a price on it hopefully someone will bite hopefully so, anyways, um, yeah, so that's it for now. I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, please make sure you like the video if you liked it and leave a comment. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for more. Have a great night.